Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out a epic relic on our bard. First though, let's take a look at his star powers. So when you summon an ally with buff stats, granted two random keywords. So always wanting to play buffed units if we can. And then when you draw a card with chimes on it, plant a chime in your deck. Those chimes are the main way that your bard is buffing up his deck. You put these on your own cards, essentially the same thing as like puff caps. And then when you pull them out, they buff your hand. So this is just helping you have even more chimes so that when you start pulling out cards with chimes, you're still putting more chimes back into your deck. Now for the relics we're going with, we're going with the Starforged Gauntless Luminous Orb and Corrupted Star Fragment. So Starforged and Luminous Orb, we're pairing these together, getting bard to that eight health so that we can get that power if I'm Titanic, which we are, plus one starting mana. The second part doesn't really matter for us. Bard is a bit of a slower ramp deck, so trying to speed up his game plan and get that plus one mana could really help us out. Now, we don't have the best epic relic for our Bard. That's likely going to be Echoing Spirit. Game start creates seven copies of me in your deck, and then champion spells cost one less. That is important because of Bard's passive or origin. So you see, round start, if you have three or more mana gems, which we're now going to start with you plan to chime in your deck for each bard that started the game in your deck so the more copies of bard we have the more chimes we plant every round so that's why having all these copies of bard is very good and then his champion spell draw a follower then activate the effects of all boons in the top three cards of your deck this is a great spell to have so having extra copies of bard to transform into this champion spell is quite good and getting it reduced down will be also excellent. So we don't have that epic relic yet. So this is what we're going with for right now. Corrupted Star Fragment, very nice for helping your bard both level up, but then also turning him into your win condition. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, I will be streaming over on Twitch shortly after this video comes out. We'll be testing out a lot of the new changes coming out this patch. So if you're interested, definitely head over there. Would love to see you. But now let's get into the video. All right, first power, Nature's Revenge, extra draw. This could help Bard level up, but I think Nature's Revenge could be quite helpful. Gain some extra units, trying to take out enemy units with those Challenger units. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. All right, up first then we have Jin with Unyielding Determination. Let's see, let's get rid of, honestly, all three of these. Well... Yeah, it's fine. This one, it has buff stats, so we're fine with playing it right away. We drew three of our units that have buff stats, actually. That is wonderful. Oh, looks like we, yep, immediately planted some chimes. So because of that Starforge Gauntlets, we're immediately planting chimes in our deck. That is awesome. All right, they spent all their mana on that. Hopefully we draw a chime and it hits our bard. Although I guess he will already have buff stats because of that luminous orb, so that is actually if we seek forgiveness, quite good. We must commit all. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. Uh sure. We can go ahead and drop this. The battle must stay with oh dear. Take this! It's done. All right, so here we'll go ahead and drop one of our bards. All right, little sad that one's getting taken out. Sure, let's play one of these. And we'll just consume the ephemeral. All right, not too bad. Our next attack, we should just be able to end the game. I will showcase the beauty of tragedy. Uh, all right, we can just let them attack. Them show to all 
So we'll just attack first thing and that'll be game. Oh, right. They have unyielding. So, yeah, we won't really change how we attack at all. But let's activate Traveler's Call, see if we can get some more chimes to buff up. Let's go ahead and play this here. What do you mean I'm not on the list? All right, GG. All right, I think let's go for the snow dog. The hearth guard is just a little bit too expensive, but being able to play this right away and buff up some of our top decks, not too bad. A one cost elder dragon is kind of funny. And even though he's a one one when we play him, he's going to get every single dragon boon. Sure, this will be probably probably be best in all honesty, but this will be fun. All right, Boctopus, Gold Chest, Healer. Let's go to the Boctopus, see if we can get a champion item node from one of these two. So let's go for Tom Kench with Unstable Inventory. All right, let's get rid of both of these. Again, we just want to keep our units that have buff stats. So we can already play our bard turn two. These jewels are more than they're drinking. So I think we will consume this one since we'll get another copy of it. Well, with the deathless, it won't actually die. Man, they're just going crazy with that. Well, there goes all of our spell shields. Man, being able to play so many cards already is very nice. Huh, this has Deathless as well. I think let's go ahead and attack like this. Bring their one elusive over here. GG. I think we'll go for the single or silver wing Vanguard. It having that uh, Deathless would be pretty good. Granted, it is kind of a 50 50 on whether or not it's actually going to work right now. So, Hextag Fabricator could be good. I think let's just go for the hand sensor though, just further buffing up our top deck. All right, champion item chest. So let's go for Poppy with power overwhelming. All right, let's get rid of this one. And even the snow dog. All right, let's go ahead and play our elder dragon.
Round one Elder Dragon, not too bad. And honestly, we'll be able to consume him with our Bard because of that Deathless. So that won't be too bad. Uh, let's get our own Elusive on board. This is potentially just GG. Oh, so that's actually going to kill him through Deathless. Oh well, GG. Alright, we don't need even more champions in our decks. So we won't grab Mordekaiser. Guess we'll get the Blinded Mystic. Even though we're going against champions that do have a lot lower starting mana, so it's a little bit unfair. Bard is feeling really good. Uh, Black Cleaver, Rakuten Spark, Mana Deposit. I think we'll go for the Black Cleaver. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with that, although all three of these are pretty good. Another unit that started the game, sure. It's simple, but it's fine. The rest of these, yeah, I think we'll be fine with what we already have. A lot of these are just a little bit too expensive for us. All right, Zoe with level up. All right, pretty great starting hand. So we can just immediately attack, kill their Zoe and their space doggo. All right, wonderful. Pretty good round one. All right, four and ten. Let's go ahead and play this. And our bard is already leveled up. Awesome. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Alright, let's drag this over here. Drag that over there. And this should still probably be game. Yep, GG. Uh, so getting him down to cost one less. Sure. We could then play him round one if we wanted. So some of these are fine. But we have four rerolls. Let's try to get something a little bit better here. We don't really play that many spells. We're playing almost all units. So this wouldn't really help us much. I think we'll just go for the extra stats. I think this counts towards Bard's uh, level up. Our champion item node looks perfect. Ash could be annoying, but then again, so could their Fiora. I guess let's go for that Ash with level up. All right, let's get rid of these three. We don't have the attack token, although if we play our bard, he's going to get frostbitten next round. Could play our elder dragon. I think let's just play our babbling bandoliers. They will get frostbitten, but there's really nothing we can really do to stop that. All right, so we could play this to get rid of their blockers. I think let's lead with an Elder Dragon. They're out there. I'll 
boss bottom. And he's already gonna level up. Awesome. All right, is there gonna be any way we can end this round? Probably not. So he's fearsome. So if we drag this one here, then no one's going to be able to block their Elder Dragon. So yeah, we won't be able to end, but we'll get pretty close. Alright, not too bad. All right, let's just immediately stun her. attack like this dragging her aside then attack with everyone else and that will hopefully be game all right gg man so far bard is feeling so much better this one's fun which is too expensive yeah i guess we'll go here Play, start a free attack. It's gonna be very unlikely that anything is able to kill Bard. So sure, we'll risk it. Hopefully we can get some more items that make him even stronger. I guess, I guess we'll go ahead and grab that. All right, Caitlyn, Karma. I don't really wanna deal with Karma. So let's go for Caitlyn with level up. Karma can really just get rid of your main win condition. Uh, we will actually hold on to Minimorph because with this build, you gain a lot of power from being able to ramp up a lot faster than normal and potentially ramp up faster than the enemy. That's completely gone when you both are starting at 10 mana. All right, do we want to do Bard immediately? Sure. We'll play Elder Dragon and oh, he's already leveled up. attack like this he will be able to block us right here actually no we have brash never mind uh, let's do a traveler's call try to buff up our board a little bit more nope all right really good damage again so far, I'm actually very impressed and surprised at how well this is going. Alright, so we have a mini morph. We'll just pass. Let's investigate. And we can kill her. Alright, not too bad. So we'll just attack, we can have our Spiderling drag their one blocker aside, and that'll be game. GG. Uh, making this cost one more is not really great for us. I guess we'll go over here, but yeah, we don't 
really like that, to be honest. Uh, that can be okay. Let's go ahead and try a reroll, though. Leading time and dedication. Uh, let's try one more. All right, sure. That'll be nice. Gain some extra cost reduction. Yeah, nothing in here seems like we really need to get it. Let's go for that shop. So Jinx with perfected mana flow. All right, let's get rid of, honestly, all of these. We have too many units in our deck that don't have buff stats. Uh, yeah, let's drop our elusive blocker. And sure, we can also drop our Elder Dragon. Oh, they didn't want to want to attack. Perfect. Let's go ahead and attack. We can drag this over here. All right, looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kill this. Let our Elder Dragon scale up a little bit more. And it's good to get rid of as many of Jinx's units as you can. As you see, they're pretty low on cards. So if we can get them to run out of steam, that'd be quite nice. Granted, that will level up their Jinx. And there's our answer. So we'll let them just discard most of their hand. Right there. <laughs> Man, I really want to kill that card. All right, perfect. Apparently the deathless item doesn't want to work on them. Not too surprised. You best believe I don't play. But now they are out of cards. All right, I think let's just attack, drag this one aside. necessarily want to fill up our board too much. Alright, let's do two to that. Gotta enjoy these dragon boons before they all get nerfed in like a couple hours. Uh, uh sure. We'll need extra blockers, so we'll fill out our board a little bit more. Or they just won't want to attack. Well, our little sapling's gonna get destroyed. So definitely a bit worse without our bard. But uh, I think this should be game. GG. Uh, definitely don't want to get Poro Fluff on that. I guess we'll get this, but yeah, we really have not been getting good uh, cards. Two costs, that's not bad. When you play a slow spell, copy it onto the same targets. I don't think we really have, like, 
any slow spells. I guess there's the, the one in Dust of Diplomacy. <sighs> Let's try a reroll. Your spells and skills deal two extra damage. Sure. It's not going to be that useful for us, but we'll go ahead and grab it. I kind of want to save our gold for the epic shop, so this could be okay, but yeah, I think we'll save it. All right, we're just over 40 cards, but I think we're still going to try to cut some. <laughs> if we have so many useless ones, it's like, what is the most useless? I think let's get rid of, rid of the clump of wumps. Yeah, we have a lot of cards we could cut. All right, Fizz with Unyielding Determination. All right, we can get rid of the Cosmic Binding. We're happy with the rest. Elder Dragon is a fun card to play around. Hopefully we draw our bard though. There we go. And sure, let's just immediately play him. This should level up our bard. Yep, there we go. Oh. Game just freaked out there for a moment. Oh, we... That's... A little rough. Really want to kill their fizz. So, let's actually... Go like this instead. So they're probably just going to play another phase right away, but it is really nice to get them off the board when you can. At least we'll be able to block elusive units. That'll be very nice. Here, we could probably just end the game, right? Oh, right, they have unyielding. All right, I guess we'll do this a little bit slower. Well, that's satisfying. All right, let's drag this here. So through their first health bar. Yeah, I don't think we really need to play any of these. Sure, so this will take the place of our... Uh, let's do tough. This will take the place of our sapping we're going to summon, but this dragon will be worth it. Looks like they might be trying to kill our Elder Dragon. Huh. I mean, they could have. Uh, let's go ahead and consume a Elusive. So they'll be able to block a lot, so we probably won't actually be able to end right here. Actually, we might have enough. Why are you here? Guess we should have paid attention to our Elder Dragon and uh, not have him be blocked, because otherwise he would have just ended the game. I honestly didn't think we'd ever level him up, but... Well, little rough. We could have could have won right there. I wonder what, let's see what happens if we can uh, try to consume him with the corrupted 
star fragment. I don't think that should work, but it would be fun to test out. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of extra stats from the Corrupted Star Fragment. But Elder Dragon is not going to be affected. GG. We need to start paying attention to Elder Dragon a little bit more. Mana Deposit is good, but I think we're gonna go with Colossal Hammer because we're gonna get our stats doubled, so we're actually getting twice the amount of benefit from this. This would both help our Bard level up right away but then it's also going to help our elder dragon level up because of our bard attacking with all these extra stats so man deposit is really good but yeah let's get that colossal hammer actually all right power dragon's rage not bad we don't really have a lot of spells but let's go for sorcery could help us get our uh, mini morph out a little bit earlier just in case we need that all right, Swain with unyielding determination. All right, we don't need double mini morph. We will hold on to one just in case. I have my orders. All right, so just like that, already leveled up. Awesome. Uh, I, hmm. I think let's go ahead and drop the Silver Wing Vanguard. We can kill this. All right, pretty good. Let's try to drop a Traveler's Call so we can buff up our units a little bit more. All right, I think that's GG, right? Or do they have any yoke? Yeah. I always forget about that. Well, do their first health call already. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. For the Empire. Uh, sure, let's just keep playing these since we have the mana. Drop our dust up diplomacy, kill their whole board. Empire for above all. So they just blew all their mana on their swain. And GG. So that one could be okay. It is fairly expensive. That is a pretty good card. Yeah, let's go ahead and go here. All right, shop. Let's see what we can get. Sure, that's fine. This will hit both our 
new student as well as nature's revenge buffing them both up so that's fine last breath rally that is actually quite good could play around with mr swift or thrift if we wanted i think let's actually grab some plucky poros because if we could draw some of these with our corrupted star fragment that could be really good that actually sounds really fun hopefully they add that when they add uh nora into the game all right tritomere with power overwhelming all right let's get rid of both of these Nice, we have Elder Dragon again. Oh, he's going to be a one cost. Our Bard is going to be a one cost, so he'll benefit from the Yips Genius. That's going to be amazing. And Elder Dragon will be a one cost too. <laughs> Awesome. And sure, let's even drop one of these since we have the mana. All right, will we just be able to end this next round? Possibly. So we'll just immediately attack. Yep, GG. Man, I guess the game really wants us to have this. Sure, we probably won't play it, but maybe. All right, Victor with level up. All right, let's get rid of most of these. Well, I guess half. is so strong and we got elusive that is massive they actually can't just block us out that means we'll just be able to immediately attack and likely end the game all right likely gg I guess get more copies of this. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. All right, Aurelian Soul with Power Overwhelming. Uh, let's get rid of that. And that one we can hold on together too. Oh, we have the attack token. That's nice. Now, they might immediately stun or silence our bard, but wouldn't be bad to get that out of the hand. Right, GG. All right, that was pretty great. Bard, especially with those Starforge gauntlets, is feeling a lot better throughout the entire course of the adventure. From the first battle all the way to the last one, we felt pretty good. I honestly didn't think it would have as big of an impact on Bard as it really seems to. So definitely 
try this out if you have your bard and you're really wanting to elevate him. And of course, if you have those Starforged gauntlets, really simple but awesome build and just makes bard feel way better than he normally does. Alright, if you enjoyed that video, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.